Hello Penguin Arts, I'm the Baby Penguin and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Nationalist Spain. You're probably noticing something interesting about, you know, Portugal or the lack of it. Um, and probably also the date. When I left you it was March 1940 and now it's October. Unfortunately, I had a bug in OBS which meant that I was recording for 45 minutes, six months or so of in-game time, and my microphone wasn't recording, so it's just silent Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, so really, that wouldn't have been particularly entertaining to watch, so I just sort of cut it out. I mean, I didn't do much, so it's all right. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we lost a bit of time. Uh, it's really, really annoying. I just found out and I stopped recording. I was like, no, please don't tell. And it just it wasn't recording. Um, but yeah, all we really did was invade Portugal. And it was a complete pushover. Nothing particularly interesting happened. Uh, since, of course, last episode, we decided that we do want to invade Britain. But we realized that we do not really have the capability to do it. So I've been leading a pretty massive expansion of our navy. At the moment, it's not looking massively expanded. But uh, you'll see we're importing a hell of a lot of oil. We've been researching more advanced ships. Uh, and we have begun to expand the amount of naval dockyards we have. We also have a massive stockpile of tungsten now. We've invaded um, Portugal. Solved the, uh, the two blocks of the Rubik's Cube uh, that is Spain now. Uh, it's finally satisfying my OCD. Anyway, uh, yeah. <sighs> so annoying. So annoying. I lost pretty much an entire episode's worth of footage, but oh well. It's alright. Uh, we trained up a bunch of new divisions. We've been sort of repelling a handful of naval invasions. What I'm hoping to do is send 30 divisions in this army here. No, this is my military police army. This army here, there we go, 24 divisions in this army here over to Africa to push back the British as there aren't actually that many of them, and hopefully push and take the Suez Canal and cut them off from India. The Japanese are doing pretty well, they've conquered um, Indochina, the Germans haven't really been doing much, the Italians have been invading uh, Yugoslavia, the Germans have been trying to invade Norway, but not really doing that well, and now there are American volunteers everywhere, so yeah, it's... Uh Looking great. But anyway, uh, what we've also been doing is massively expanding the amount of fighter aircraft we have from nothing to quite advanced. So in the duration of six months, using a bunch of national focuses and such, we have massively boosted our aviation industry. And as such, we're now just started building Fighter 2s. Literally, just as the Fighter 2 thing was set, uh, that was when I realised that my microphone wasn't recording. We've also made a little variant of it with the little air experience that we did have, so it should be quite a competent aircraft. Uh, we're importing a hell of a lot of oil from the US, but we're also exporting a lot of tungsten now from Portugal, so that sort of makes up for it. Um, so, hopefully, this production efficiency will start increasing, and we should be able to temporarily gain air superiority over Britain, and at the same time, use our relatively limited, but soon to be expanded navy to guard some, most of our convoys, hopefully, uh, while they cross the channel, and we should be able to take Britain. That's the hope, anyway. That is the plan. We have until June 1941. June, July, that's usually around when the Germans decide to invade the Soviet Union. They don't always do it around um, the realistic date. So yeah, that's how much time we have. And uh, yeah, so we've got historical focuses on this. We should do it around then. Once they've invaded the Soviet Union, if they don't have our help in doing that, uh, and if Britain is still in the war, we might as well consider the war lost. So, yeah. No pressure, I guess. Uh, we've got available planes and reserves. We've got 20 Fighter 1s. We started building them, but then we researched Fighter 2s very quickly. So, yeah. Now we just hope we can get the production efficiency up. It's going to take quite a while, but should be alright. And there we go. Three a week. But that should hopefully start rapidly increasing. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. We, you didn't really miss much. Ah, oh, yes! Boom! Synthetic oil experiments. We can stop our reliance on the Americans. Here we go. Construction. Let's get building some synthetic refineries. This is very, very important that we get doing this.
Uh, let's build just four for now. The, the, the key thing here is not oil, but rubber. Right now, we're actually just about level uh, with our trade, as you can see. But we're having to import rubber from a bunch of obscure people, like even from Germany, from their synthetic refineries. Um, that is really the limiting factor on how many aircraft we can produce. Uh, oil is all right because... Somehow, for some reason, the British haven't been sinking our convoys to the US. We haven't lost any convoys for ages. So, we're actually fine, which is really quite surprising. Anyway, let's build a... let's research oil plant too. But yeah, I don't know why I didn't start researching them earlier. Uh, it was really dumb. So, obviously, as soon as the war started, I didn't have any rubber or any oil. Uh, so, I want to try and ease off the dependency on the US and on uh, Brazil and Japan with uh, Indochina in their grasp, they can export a little bit of rubber now as well. All right, let's continue. Did I put those to the top of the priority list? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, actually, let's mix that in with um, with a few military factories and stuff as well. So yeah, let's do that. And then we'll have naval dockers. So we'll sort of alternate between all of them. Because it's not vital right now that we get um, these uh, synthetic refineries up. Because we are, as I said, level at the moment. But uh, I would very much like to start getting them built. There we go. We've got the outdated equipment warning. Because, of course, we're still building a heavy cruiser too. But there's very little point, you know, getting rid of um, months of... of production just to upgrade so we'll wait till that one's finished and then we'll upgrade it and then we'll stick uh, even more naval dockyards onto it because we have started to build more of those as you see heavy cruiser 3 isn't it beautiful oh so gorgeous we are also researching not researching we're going to be research yeah there we, go. We, we we did get a capital ship effort so we'll be researching some battleships uh, and such so hopefully we can build at least one battleship before um or, or maybe battle cruiser i don't know uh, before we invade uh, we've got our troops exercising here. I think we have some green troops somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Uh, just down there, just training up. Along with this army, once they're regulars, we'll send them into Africa. Uh, as long as the Italians can hold on for a bit longer, we should be all right. Modify government. Oh, wonderful. Tank designer. We don't really have any tank. Ship designer. Naval research time minus 10%. That would be useful. Uh, what else would be useful? Army experience land doctrine research time. That would be useful as well. Uh, Fleet Logistics, MES Port, uh, Chief of Air Force, S priority for 15%. We need that. Air Support, Mission. Um, yeah, we don't need any more of these uh, doctrines really. We just needed the Air Support ones, of which there actually aren't that many. Encryption isn't that important to us right now. Uh, naval Dockins. Doctrin doctrines are though. Okay. Um, well, we're not doing that. Uh, fleet in being, I think, might be the right one for us. We're not going to be submarine attacking uh, the British. We just need to be able to guard. Here we go, convoy sailing. We just need to be able to guard our uh, convoys getting across the channel. With our very limited navy, but as I said, it is growing. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying that we lost our single battleship that we actually had. Uh, oh, hello, little naval invasion down here. The free French are trying to take back France, which they're actually doing a half-decent job of doing. Thanks. But yeah, we lost our only battleship uh, while getting troops across. Now, oh, hello, we've got another, na another naval invasion. Um, do you mind? I'm trying to train troops here, guys. He's got 10 British divisions just sitting there. Uh, and they were exercising, so they are in no state to really repel them. We should be alright, though. Hopefully. There we go. They stopped exercising now. Hopefully they'll reinforce. Uh, let's def delete all these orders. There we go. Make it like an another Gallipoli for them or something. They don't have a port, so they'll start running out of supplies soon enough. Oh, and the Italians declared war on Greece. That's only going to make things difficult. Yeah, look at the Italians. Bloody retarded. They haven't even finished invading Yugoslavia. And now they're invading Greece. Ugh, Mussolini, why have you got to be so dumb? That's not very helpful. But oh, well. oh, we've got three uh, naval dockyards. Did we finish our... Yes, we finished our heavy cruiser. Heavy cruiser 3. Boom. Let's stick that in. Surface fleet. 
And there we go. Wonderful. We need more oil for that though. Hence why, you know, I kind of want those synthetic refineries to be done, but oh well. Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine. Don't know why it's still there. We go, it's gone. Alright, crush him. Oh, I've got some Venezuelan uh, volunteers. <laughs> don't exactly know what they're doing here, but you know, I'm not going to complain. And there we go. That's 10 British divisions just wiped off the map. Wonderful. Uh, actually, let's get these guys back training. There we go. Back garrisoning this area. There we go. Uh, yeah, just do that. Okay. Oh, and they also need to be training. Yep. Yeah. As I say, we'll get them back up to regulars, and if Italy hasn't completely um, imploded <laughs> by then, we'll try and take back some of Africa. But I'm not going to take a huge risk doing it, because our troops are rather precious to us, and we need quite a few for taking Britain, so yeah. Right. Um, there we go. Destroyer effort. That's what we wanted. How many planes do we have? We've got 29. Fighter 1s. I think it's the British are going to have a lot of... Oh, we need to do that. There we go. The British are going to have an awful lot of fighter aircraft. So we just need to dump up a bunch of them, uh, a bunch of ours, and get our paratroopers landed before they can really do anything about it. Oh, they've got some Polish divisions. Interesting. Uh, but yeah. We just want to put up a couple of hundred fighters just to keep theirs off of ours. Gain their superiority for like literally like a couple of hours. Uh, so we can land our paratroopers in London, take a port, and hopefully then uh, we can just charge across the channel. We're going to lose divisions. That's inevitable. Uh, we are going to lose divisions. In doing that, hello, we've got another naval invasion. Oh, crap. This one's going quite well. Uh, um, can we move some troops over there? Appreciate that, guys. Just reinforce that. Oh, there we go. They gave up. Wonderful. Yeah, they, they do keep trying to naval invade us. But they're not doing a very good job of actually, you know, blockading us. I would have thought that the British would have tried that. But uh, they haven't. And Britain is entirely capable of blockading us entirely and stopping our oil imports from the US. But they haven't done that. So, you know, if they, if, if they don't want to uh, take their pretty easy uh, way to drive me out of the war, then I'm perfectly happy. In reality, Britain would have just perfectly, happily uh, blockaded Spain. The Royal Navy was entirely capable of doing it, and uh, we would pretty much not have... What the hell? Why did a ship just sink? How did we just sink, like, a, a French carrier? What? Is there a naval battle? There isn't even a naval battle going on. Somehow, like, this carrier just blew up. Um... Yeah, these naval invasions aren't going too well for you guys, are they? <laughs> you keep trying there. You keep trying. We've got one division defending it. It's just, it's just not going well for them. Yeah, and the Vichy French have pushed them out of France. A lot of people uh, like to forget the fact that the Vichy French fought directly against the Allies. A lot of French fought against the Free French. Like, they, were, they were obviously mass desertions to the Free French. But uh, like my great-grandfather, who's a Royal Marine, he fought the Vichy French directly in North Africa. Uh, well, not in North Africa, but in, off the coast of North Africa. Um, and in a number of engagements in um, coastal areas and such. Uh, but he obviously didn't fight in the main Africa campaign. Um, but still, fought directly against the French, who were supposed to be our allies. Most people like to conveniently forget that um, a lot of French uh, betrayed their country. Yeah. It's easy to judge. They did, you know, get conquered by the Germans, but, um, yeah. Anyway, so Union Finland signed a white piece. Ah. And, yeah, now they've got their little buffer around Leningrad. Winter War is over. Oh, we've got fleet in being. Perfect. And let's go for convoy sailing. Escort efficiency. Boom. That's what we need. Our Navy is growing. Um, there are a lot of British troops stationed there. What, what is with carriers just continuously blowing up in the Mediterranean? Oh, shit! I was looking at the carrier! <laughs> I was in the middle of looking at the carrier. Like, why is that sinking? And just casually ignored the transmission from the German right that they declared war on the Soviet Union. 
Oh no! I thought we had until like June. I was so sure we had until June or July. Oh no! Operation Barbarossa. And we are not there to help them. I should have kept a closer eye on them. Bugger! That is uh, unfortunate, to say the least. They're going to do well at first, but then they are going to stall. Big time. We need to knock Britain out of the war as fast as we can. And then just send everything to go help them. These divisions I am committed to sending to North Africa. I think that's a good idea. We'll send them across here. Um, yeah, just hopefully so quick that they can't sink them. Uh, and then we will send them across land to here. And try and push back the British. They really don't have many troops here. So hopefully we should be alright with uh, taking the Suez. Uh, I can't believe Operation Barbarossa was launched that early. That is, I guess we defeated the French early, so that's what they went for. Hmm. How very, very vexing that is. All right, with the Germans invading the Soviets, I think they forced our hand. We have no choice now but to invade Britain, like now. Otherwise, they're just going to get annihilated in Russia. Um, so really, we have no choice. We're not ready, but we're going to invade Britain. So we're going to get all of our transport aircraft to our paratroopers. We're going to get all of our fighters deployed. We only have like 150 or so fighters, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, yeah, uh, it's not not great, but I just we have very little choice. So yeah, they've sort of forced our hand here. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, delete all your orders. I want you all to just walk to here so you can all parachute uh, with impunity. These guys, yeah, you're fine. You're not doing anything related to this invasion. You should really be put into El African Theatre because you're going to be going there soon. Just put the military police in at their own theatre. There we go. El military police. And you get a low priority. European Theatre, high priority. African Theatre, medium priority. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, also, Navy, uh, you need to... We... Yeah, we'll combine the submarines with them. We needed every last ship we can get. Head to Brittany. Um, yeah. <laughs> Make sure that their instructions are correct. Repair priority is medium. You will... All tanks put off is enabled. And... Yeah. Hopefully they won't get interdicted on their way there, but they should be alright. We haven't even researched convoy sailing yet. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. But my hope is we'll just send 56 divisions across. What we're going to do is we parachute into a port, capture the port, and we'll send 56 divisions just across. Um, and we'll just send so many divisions across, they can't possibly sink all of them. This could be an absolutely horrendous idea. But I don't think we have much choice in the matter. Yeah, we send them all to the nearest naval bases. If we're going to be sending them to this one, actually, then I see very little point sending them to uh, to this one. Let's just garrison like naval bases here and send them across. That's the shortest distance. No, not from up there. Yeah, we'll just garrison here. Yeah. These two naval bases should hopefully be able to deal with them. And here we go. Oh god, this is going to go so badly. <laughs> yep, Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop pack. God damn it, Germany! I thought I had till like June. But clearly, I just don't. Right, how's the Navy? Oh, they got interdicted. Okay, they escaped. They're alright. I should... Should I tell them to... Uh, no, do not engage. Do not engage right now. Call to arms request. Fuck off. <laughs> you declared war on the Soviets way too bloody early. Oh, hello, this isn't going well. Because uh, you're currently exercising. You have no organization whatsoever. Oh, hello. They're back. Stop naval invading me, you bastards. There we go. They don't have any ports, so this should be alright. 
And I want the whole army. There you go. Surround them. It should be quite alright. Oh, support weapons three. Wonderful. Oh, our navy's arrived. Okay, right. So support weapons three, that's gonna help us, uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh proof infantry equipment. Mm. Reinforce rate plus two percent. Right. Uh I believe the hell's this? Oh, this is my African theatre. There we go. I want to be in this theatre. Okay, perfect. Have our Royal Aircraft arrived? Yes, they have. 178 aircraft. Here we go, everybody. Let's try this. I think what we'll do is we'll send all of them into the port next to London. Yep. And then fighters over southern England. No retreat and execute missions day and night. Yep. We're relying on you guys to uh, actually um, <laughs> hold off the RAF just long enough to parachute some dudes in. And here we go. Convoy escort in the English Channel. Here we go. Paratroopers, fly. Oh, we did it! Wait, they haven't taken it yet. They haven't taken it. They got it! They got it! Yes! Okay, okay. We're in. We're in. We're in. Army. Entire army. Lit all your orders. Get across that bloody channel. <laughs> oh my god, we fucking did it. Oh, sorry, excuse my profanity. Dig in, paratroopers. Before you get counterattacked to high bloody heaven. Two of you head to that port now. Uh, they don't seem to have anything defending it. Um, see if we can widen our front line a bit. 55 divisions across the bloody channel. Excavation. Yes! Look at all the troops. Oh my god, thank god we didn't parachute into London. They fixed the bug where you could just parachute into London. I heard that they fixed it. So, um, yeah. They've got a hell of a lot of divisions in London, so thank God we didn't do that. Um, oh yeah, can you concentrate on in Industry 4? We'll do that. Okay, here we go, the troops are arriving. Oh, the Royal Navy! Royal Navy's here. Come on, let's see if we can... Yes! The Navy's not... Okay, yeah, the Royal Navy is starting to butcher some of our convoys. Come on, come on Navy, I know you can help. Come on! You just gotta get ashore! All plant. Yes! They're ashore! Yes! 54 divisions in Britain! Oh! How's the air battle going? We've got air superiority! Somehow! How the hell has this worked? How has this worked? 